Hello, honors out to the students. Mr. Lawrence here, and another quick video for you. This is actually the next section. I think it's so simple that I think you can handle it. Uh, by the way, the test is going to be a week from Friday, okay? So it'll be all over topic six. Uh, I've got a system of linear inequalities on this one, and I'm going to do this problem very much the same way that I did the other problems. Uh, first one I'm going to graph, let me see here, there, I think I'm going to do blue for this one, and I'm going to graph the other one in kind of a yellowish color, okay, and you'll see why in a second, Oop, maybe I won't, there we go, all right, maybe I won't, uh, maybe you won't see why, but you're so smart, I'm sure you will, all right, so let me graph this inequality, it says y is greater than 2x minus 4, well, it's obviously Looks like it's in slope intercept form. So I'm going to put a point here at negative 4. That's my y intercept. And then rise 2 and run 1. And rise 2 and run 1. All right. And so the line is going to follow this path. Now, it's not equal to, so I'm going to need a broken line. And so I'm going to get my broken line on here. Okay. And let me see, let this line extend, and then I have to remember to do my shading, right, to do my test point, okay, and I'm going to need maybe a line a little bit thinner, and there, I think that one will match, okay, so my test point, the line does not pass through the origin, so I can plug in 0, 0, so 0 is greater than <clears throat> excuse me, 2 times 0 minus 4. Is that a true statement when I'm testing with the origin? And I believe it is, because I believe the right-hand side will simplify down to negative 4. So, I'm going to shade the origin side of my line. Remember, you never want to use a little trick like, oh, if the inequality is pointing this way, you shade that way. No. Always use a test point. Always. Uh, the test point will never fail you. Never. Plus, it's, it's way more intelligent than just a little trick. It shows you understand better what's going on. Okay? And remember, the goal isn't just to be able to do it. The goal is to uh, understand why you're doing it and what it's going to accomplish for you. Okay, so there's the first part. Now let's do the second part of the system. Looks like we're in standard form on this one. And so I'm going to uh, let's see, I'm going to use my x-intercept, which I think is going to be 4, right? Because of c over a. Alright, and my slope is going to be a positive 2 thirds. So I'm going to go 1, 2, Oops, one, two, one, two, three. All right, one, two, one, two, three. And down two and go left, one, two, three. Okay, so let me get out again a broken line because it's not equal to. And so my broken line is going to look Something like that. Looks like that's off a little bit. Did I miscount my slope? One, two, one, two. I sure did. Sorry about that. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get this out of the way. Let me put that point in the right place. There we go. And then I can get a much more accurate representation here. Now, um, haven't seen the cool part yet. We do need to do our shading for the second part of the system. And that's where the cool part really comes in. So let me get my yellow highlighter out for this. Oh, not yet. Let me do my test. Sorry. So my test says, uh, let's see, I'm going to use the origin. So I'm going to get 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0. And is that less than 8? And you know, I believe it is. Yeah, zero is less than eight. So I'm going to shade 
the origin side. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I think that is like the coolest thing ever. Look at that. Look at that. What's happening? Part of the graph is green. The green is the region where all the solutions are. How do I know? Because the green section got shaded twice. Because I'm not using a green highlighter, am I? I'm using a yellow highlighter. But when it's blending with the blue, it's making a, a green. Now, of course, it's a little, I'm doing it a little sloppily here. Like, there's yellow over here. That would really all be green, right? Okay. So, solving a system is about finding a region where the two systems overlap. Just like in a system of equations, we're looking for the two lines overlap, the point of equilibrium, the, the place where the two lines intersect. Well, in a system of linear inequalities, we're looking for the region that the, the two lines or the two shadings overlap. It, any point in this green region will make both inequalities true. And obviously you can see that that's true with 0, 0 because we tested with 0, 0. So this is pretty simple stuff, but I, I think it's really cool. All right, oops, wait a minute. I had another problem here. Where did it go? Oh dear. Wait a minute, I think I'm a little confused at the moment. Oh, a page got inserted accidentally. Okay, so if you'd like to pause the video and try this one, I think it'd be a great idea. By the way, Monday we're going to go over this thoroughly, so so don't sweat it if uh, if you're having a little bit of trouble. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to test something. I think I can do this with two other highlighter colors. I'm pretty sure that I can do it with red and yellow. Yep. Yeah. So like, yeah, that's not really yellow. Uh, red. It's purple. But I'll do it with those two colors this time. Okay. So this first one, right here, we'll do it with the, the purplish kind of one. So let me adjust that close enough. All right, it's in standard form. And so let me see, just a quick inspection of the coefficients and the constant. I think I want the x-intercept, too. All right, and the slope is going to be negative 5 thirds. So I'm going to go down 5, and then right one two, three. Okay, up five. One, two, three, four, five, and back one, two, three. Okay, so now I'm going to need a line, but this time I'm going to want a solid line. One, two, three, because it is equal to, right? So I'm going to change this line. Make sure it's it's truly aligned by putting arrowheads on both ends. And let's see what color I'm going to go with this kind of purplish thing here. Okay, and there we go. Okay, now I have to determine my shading. Well, what do I, if I use the origin as my test point, won't I get zero? It is greater than or equal to 10, which is not a true statement. So I'm going to shade the other side of the origin, right? Make it a good book, the other side of the origin. Okay. Can't seem to shade the right one. Okay. So now when you're shading with the pencil, you're welcome to use colored pencils or something. But you can also just shade real lightly one way. And then when you do the other line, shade the other direction, meaning um, kind of like pencil strokes. Like this, you can kind of go, all right. And then if you do that, you can see some of it is, it's like a checker pattern. And so you'll be able to tell where your uh, overlapping region is. Okay, but again, Monday we'll get some Oh, no, not Monday. Tuesday, we'll get some practice with this. All right. Um, this one here. It's in standard form. 
And it looks like my X intercept is at one half. And I don't normally like to do that, but that's the prettiest of my intercepts. So my graphing at half isn't terrible. Now my slope is going to be 6 fourths or 3 over 2. So I'm going to rise 1, 2, 3, and run 2. All right. Rise 1, 2, 3, and run 1, 2. Okay. And so um, we need a line. It will be a solid line again. So, and there we go. And it came a line. I forgot to change the other one to purple or red, but that's okay. All right, again, I'm going to plug in my Plug in the origin, excuse me. I'm going to get 0 minus 0 is less than or equal to 3, which is definitely true. So for this one, I'll shade the origin side of the line. So I'm going to shade all over here. Oh, look at that, that red region. That's the part that's getting shaded twice. So my solution is kind of that upper quadrant, if you will. Quad because there's four regions when the two lines intersect and make an X. Okay, so this is some pretty easy stuff. Hopefully you're catching on really quick. We'll, uh, we'll put it together Monday and see what you can do. Okay, uh, I keep saying Monday, I mean Tuesday, because we got that long weekend, and then the test is going to be a week from this Friday, a week from tomorrow, which, uh, let's see, is today the 12th, so tomorrow will be the 13th. That would be the 20th. The test is going to be on the 20th. I've been talking about a quiz, the timing of the field trip, etc. We're not going to have a quiz. We're just going to have the test on January 20th. All right, that's it for the video. Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.